Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to do a very simple CO2 capturing by absorption. Um, as you know, absorption is uh, one of the many techniques that nowadays they are using to capture CO2. And uh, for that, I have made a um, uh, problem statement here, as you can see. Uh, the gas is entering the column of absorption uh, or the absorber at the degrees at the temperature of 65 degrees and the pressure of 2 bar and with the mass rate of 1200 kilogram per hour and you can see the mole percentage of the composition here which is 75 percent nitrogen and 10 percent water uh, and 10 percent co2 and 5 percent oxygen and the solvent which is uh, the amine based solvent uh, it is called mdea amine is entering from the top uh, with the 25 percent uh, weight uh, uh, composition rate uh, this solvent is pouring from the top uh, at the pressure of 1.3 and then uh, you have also the gas at the bottom and then um, the chemical process takes place inside the absorber and um, the co2 is actually getting uh, freed uh, in the form of clean gas at the top and then you have the rich amine from the bottom mm, uh, this is a very straightforward thing in ANSI, I mean Aspen Hysis and uh, let's do it quickly okay I can start from scratch uh, first thing I have to specify the components uh, the components uh, the first thing I have to specify is CO2 Then I think I had nitrogen, I had O2, I had some water, what else did I have? Um, I have MDEA, I mean amine, I have to add this of course. You see this is called MDEA, MDE amine. Uh, do we have something else? Uh, I think I have added more or less everything. And then if you go to fluid package uh, and then if you click on add you can see that uh, the Aspen Hysis is automatically suggesting you um, uh, a property package which is called acid gas chemical solvent uh, but this chemical solvent also requires H2S uh, which is fine if you just uh, click on simulation you'll see a message that this change to, needs to be made for this component list and then you just adjust components which is okay right so when you are in simulation the first thing you have to do is to find the absorber a simple absorber here and just drag and drop it uh, here and then you double click on absorber and uh, you have to specify uh, the streams here the top stage is of course uh, the solvent I'll just call it solvent the bottom stage I would call it gas uh, the top side is uh, clean gas and the bottom liquid I'll call it rich amine okay and the number of stage I just put it 50 and once you have done it you can just close it and then you can go back to gas the gas was at 65 degrees of pressure of 2 bar with the mass flow of what was the mass flow it was 1200 right 1200 kilogram per hour and then the composition was uh, you have 10 percent co2 how much was the nitrogen the nitrogen was 75% uh, and this is mole fraction right this is all correct so let's put it again nitrogen was 75% the oxygen was only 0.05% and the rest was water all right uh, 
I think I made a mistake. I should do it again. So the CO2 was 10%. The nitrogen was 75%. Oxygen was 5%. And the, the rest was hydro. It was only water. All right, this is good. Then you just close it. Then have to do the same thing for the solvent. The solvent was, uh, what was the temperature? The temperature was 25. Temperature was 25 degrees of centigrade. The pressure was 1.3. And the mass flow was around 4,000 kilogram per hour. And then the composition was not mole fraction, but the weight fraction. You go to basis, just change it to mass fraction. You had 75% uh, uh, water and 25% MDEMI. Okay. Then you just click OK. Then this is also turned green. Then you have to go back to your absorber and uh, you just click on next. Uh, so the stage numbering is from the top to bottom and the rest looks good. You just keep it as default. You go to next. Uh, the top stage pressure, if you remember, was 1.3 and the bottom stage pressure was two bar. We are not going to have pressure drop inside uh, the absorber. Then you just click next. Um, let's not do anything with the temperature estimate and just keep it as it is and then you click on done and then um, you just have to run it you have to run this simulation before you get any results okay you just click on run and you can see that after filtration the simulation is already converged so if you go to flow sheet um, I mean to worksheet you can see, for example, how much of uh, 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 each of these columns, for example, solvent, gas, clean gas, and rich amine. You can see the properties of each of them. And you can also go to composition and uh, take a look at these properties. But um, let's see, for example, how much of uh, the gas, how much of the CO2 in the gas is actually left in the clean gas, okay? So we can simply click on clean gas and then you can go to uh, composition and you can see this is in mole fraction but uh, let's just change it to for example mole flow and then you can do the same in gas basically you go to composition and you change the basis to let's say mole flow and let's just do a comparison so you can see in the in the feed in the gas feed you had uh, 4.16 kilogram mole per hour of co2 and in the clean gas you are left with only 0 0.75 70 kilo mole per hour and you can calculate it and you can see the percentage this is very simple uh, you can see like uh, 4.16 49 minus 0.75 70 divided by 4.1649 um, I think I made a mistake I have to do it again 4.1649 minus 0.757 and then divided by 4 9 4 49 right so you can see that actually around 82% of the CO2 in the feed is uh, uh, captured uh, by the amine. And uh, you can see that your clean gas is already 80% clean from the CO2. Um, this was really a basic tutorial for the CO2 capturing. This is going to be perhaps a series of uh, CO2 capturing uh, videos that I'm going uh, to upload. I'm very interested in this topic and uh, hopefully I'll spend more time on uh, learning and sharing my learning with you 
uh, through these tutorials i hope you have enjoyed it uh, so far i'll come back with more videos later until then